Good Wednesday morning. Glad to be with you as we move toward the new year. Last week of the year, 2021 is about to be history. Today we're going to look at one verse in Luke chapter 12, and that verse is verse 48. He's been talking about being ready and being attentive to what God gives us to do. And in verse 48 he says, But the one who didn't know it committed deeds worthy of flogging and received but few. In other words, the guy that was working and doing what the master wanted, he was all right. But if the guy that didn't do that, uh, he was in trouble. And verse 48 talks about our accountability. He says, And from, ev- and from everyone, receive, everyone who has been given much shall, be re- much shall be required. And to whom they entrusted much of him they will ask all the more. Now he's lo- using a parable, but he's uh, very pointedly saying uh, our lives are going to be required of us. One day we're going to have to give an account of our lives, not just the things we've done, good or bad, but everything we've done in the body, all the deeds that we have done. You know, we're all given gifts. We have, we're have we born with some skills and that we develop, and uh, we have an aptitude towards certain skills, but there's gifts of the Holy Spirit given to the church and given to the kingdom of God to be used for God's glory. And I think that's very important for us to understand that. So gifts are to be used. Now, gifts are given to the individual but they're given on behalf of the church so that we can serve the people of God. That's very important for us to remember that. And so we, you know, a lot of people won't, you know, they they say, I have this gift. Well, what do you do with this gift? You you only have a gift from the Holy Spirit to serve. That's what you do. You don't have a gift to brag about it or to use it and have people come to serve you. It's just the opposite of that. And the gifts that we have and the service that we do uh, require results, and these results have to be accounted for. And what Jesus says is very interesting here, and we should never miss that. This accountability begins because we've been given something. You've been given life to live. You've been given opportunities to make your life good or to overcome things in your life. You've been given the presence of the Holy Spirit who gave you spiritual gifts to be used, and we're going to give an account of that to the Lord one day and be rewarded in glory for those kinds of things. So here's what he says. To those of us, and I think anybody living in America today who's a believer can say this, much has been given, so much is going to be required. And when we meet those requirements, much more is given. It's a multiplication thing that goes on. We don't just have a few gifts and do a few things and lay around. That's not what this is all about. This is about having a purpose in life and serving the Lord wherever we are, whether we're in the neighborhood, whether we're working, whether we're at church, or whether we're out with friends. It doesn't matter. Your gifts require results, and those results will be measured to give you more opportunities to serve Him. Let's take advantage of what God's given us today. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gifts you give, and we're ready to be accountable. Holy Spirit, fill us with these gifts and also opportunities to serve your body, the body of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.